Welcome back to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning about the different options we have for Windows, the different types of tracks there are to work with, and we'll also be learning about these different uh, tabs we have in the sidebar and exploring different sounds and different instruments that LMMS has to offer. Uh, so to get started, I just want to show that if we do close our song editor on accident, we can always bring it back by clicking this button right here. So if we hover over, it says Show Hide Song Editor. We can just click that. There's also a hot key for it, which is the F5 key, and that brings it back as well. But just know that just because we close these, it doesn't mean that they're gone forever. In fact, it doesn't even mean that the, the data that's in them is going to go away. So and a good example for that would be if we, bring, if we bring in like a song like we did last time and hit play, Whoa. Uh, we can actually, I'm going to turn my headphones down a little bit. Uh, we can actually close this while this is playing. And it'll still keep playing. In fact, we can close all of these and they're all, it's still playing. And see, there's no option for controlling. Ha, how do we stop this? So we have to bring back the song editor and then hit stop. And so just because it cl it's closed, don't be afraid that you're, you lost data. The only time you'll lose is if you close this and then don't save. But other than that, this workspace, it, it keeps the changes that you set. Uh, it, it stores them in the program, so don't worry about it. But just know that you can bring them back. You can bring back any of these tabs, the baseline editor, uh, the notes, or different things, just by uh, clicking these seven buttons up here. Uh, okay, so what I want to show you is some different ways. Let's just hit new and we'll say discard. So we have a brand new fresh project. This is what it looks like when we first open. And let's explore uh, some different options we have over here on the left hand side. So if we click here, we see this top one is called instrument plugins. And if we hover over, it just kind of shows us some of the different instruments. Uh, we can get different instruments and VSTs that we can actually import in. Uh, but these are actually a pretty good a pretty good set, but there's a ton of different instruments we can do. And you'll notice they all do different things, uh, and we'll explore these. In fact, we'll probably have a, a video dedicated to each and every one of these because the options are massive, especially this like Zinab sub effects. Like this is essentially can create any sound you can imagine. Just the settings involved with this are just astronomical. So We'll, we'll probably dedicate a lot of time to learning how to use these, but just be aware that there's different instruments here. The way we get them into our compositions is just by left-clicking and dragging them onto our song editor. So now we have this Bitvader uh, as an option. And um, if we want to get this Free Boy, we just left-click and drag it in. We have a Free Boy track now. We can also add them into our baseline. So some of these are, are better. So this one right here is called Kicker. If we want to get a second Kicker, we can just hover over and find the Kicker instrument left click and drag it in and now we have a second one and we can also play um, anything so we can play do the bit vader as a thing so you can have you can actually have instruments being played in your beat, beat and bass line and you can have um, drums being played in your song editor um, like on a, on a musical keyboard for example uh, and vice versa so it works both ways anyway that's how we get the instruments into our project uh, the next thing we'll look at is uh, this My Projects, which is where we've been to grab these demo songs. So this has a couple different things, some different templates, uh, some different songs, but it's also going to be where your projects are saved. So if we click Save right now, and we just call this My Song, and hit Enter, uh, it's going to show up in here. We click this Refresh button, and we can see My Song is now there. So if you're working on a project and you save it, your pro uh, anytime you save your project, it'll appear here under your My Projects. Another way you can get to your song, so I'm not sure where I saved that at. If we go File, Save As, it'll tell us. So I saved it under Documents, LMMS, Projects. So these bottom tabs also let us explore different locations on the computer. So this is how I get into my Documents, LMMS, and I can find my project that way as well, which is called MySong.MMPZ. And I can load it that way. So there's a couple different ways to get back to your, your song. So there's these two bottom tabs, Control different locations on your computer, and they also control um, different locations within your home directory. Okay, uh, moving on. So the one right below My Projects is called My Samples. This is where we're going to get lots of different samples that are already using existing instruments. So if we left-click and just left-click and hold, 
it sh it'll just play through that audio. So these are all bass loops. We have basses here. Uh, we have um, drums. So if we want to get a drum sound, and maybe we want to use this one, like this one here, we just left click and drag it in, and now we can use that in our uh, in our baseline editor. And we can also, if we wanted to, we could drag it in and use it as a, tr a complete track in our song editor. Don't worry, like I, we'll talk about the difference between using it in our song editor and using it in our beat baseline. But as you play with them and as we get more experience, you'll understand why certain sounds, you know, a lot of times drum sounds you'll want to have in your beat and baseline rather than in your song. Uh, so let's just play with these, you know, expand. There's lots of different um, sounds that you'll find. Um, so explore those. And again, to play it, you just hover over and left click and keep holding down your mouse and it'll play. As soon as you let off your mouse, it'll it'll cut the song. It'll cut that uh, audio file. Uh, and so these are all just audio files. If you notice, they're a .ogg extension, which is like an open source audio file format like WAV or MP3. It's just an open source version uh, of an audio file. Um, this next tab here is my presets. So my presets is going to be uh, actual presets for these instruments. So if you notice these instruments, we have Bit Invader, Free Boy, and if we come over to the My Presets, uh, there's actually going to be a folder for Bit Invader and a folder. There's not fun. Uh, there's a folder for Kicker, which one of the instruments here was Kicker, and so these are presets for different ways of um, of making this Kicker sound. So see, it's not actually an audio file. It's a configuration of an instrument. So if we come to the Bitvader one, and sometimes these are kind of long, like some of them are like longer. Um, if we go, see that, that's a whole, that's not just a simple sound, that's kind of like a more of a longer, a longer effect. So play with these, there's all kinds of different sounds. Some of them are, that's like a Nintendo game sound, right? Uh, and again, these we can also use the same way. We just left click, drag it in. We can drag it into our uh, either our beat and baseline editor or our song editor. It doesn't really matter. And then we can uh, do different things that way. And there's going to be a ton of these. Like I said, this Zen add, sub, Zen add sub effects is just huge. So there's going to be all kinds of different options. Fortunately, we have all these different presets. And we can create our own preset, actually. So when, once we get into actually editing and changing, this is how we, we would create our own preset is by changing it on here. We just hit save when we have a, a unique preset and we can save our own custom preset that'll appear here every time. Uh, so just be aware of that. We're not gonna do it right now because it's just a little bit more advanced. Um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you. So we looked over here, we saw kind of how this works. Now you know how to bring instruments in and in the next video, we're gonna start creating a simple song and a simple bass line uh, to go along. We'll create a song and we'll export it just to get you familiar with the basic workflow. Appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found it informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe and comment below, and I hope to see you in the next video.